Hi, Travis. Uh, first of all, just your perspective on what caused the momentum to change so drastically from the first period to the second. Uh, that's an easy answer, Batch. Uh, penalties and turnovers, a bad combination. Took seven penalties in the last 40 minutes and five seconds or something like that. And uh, they get the momentum and we never got it back. <clears throat> How much do you sense a growing frustration within your group when it comes to some of those penalties that, you know, certainly were a bit undisciplined? Uh, tonight, for sure. Uh, especially after the first period we had. Um, yeah, it was a frustrated team tonight, and they should be. They should be disappointed. Next question to Farhan. Travis, I know the penalties jump out, but in the second period, you only had one penalty that you took in the first 15 minutes of that period. So five on five, what wasn't happening in the second? So, sorry, say that again. We took we took well, one you penalty. Took, you took one penalty in the first 15 minutes. You had a bunch in the last five minutes of that period, but in the first 15 minutes, a lot of the challenges were happening five on five. Uh, what was happening five on five in the second period that, yeah, that maybe we, wasn't happening? Like I said, we turned the puck over. Uh, it's funny how this game is. If, First period, we were played exactly the, the type of hockey that I think we see ourselves playing. And, um, you know, we started taking turnovers and not getting pucks behind them. And uh, they got the momentum back on us. What do you take from, from Tyler Myers' penalty? I mean, what do you say to him after that? Same thing I'd say to a couple other guys. Can't take penalties there. Ben Kuzma, go ahead, please. Hey, Travis. Uh, in the first period, if uh, when Miller does the long up to uh, Bess and uh, he springs away with Petey, if, if he buries that and you're up 2 nothing, maybe it, it's a different outcome. But uh, Pedersen was pretty hard on himself here just uh, a few minutes ago about the penalties he took, uh, getting the stick up on Monaghan. Uh, he seemed pretty down on himself. Uh, is there anything you have to do as a coach uh, just to, to re reset a guy who's so important to your team? Uh, yeah, I'll probably talk to Petey um, before our next game. Um, you know, that, that first period, I thought that line started to look like uh, what they are. We quite easily could have two or three goals in the first period. Um, you know, are they squeezing the stick or is he a little bit? He could be now. Um, you know, probably he's getting talked to a lot, a lot about it from other people and it is it does play on your mind a little bit. And, um, you know, even for example, when I come in here, I've been asked about it every game. So I'm sure it's on his mind. And he's a young player still, uh, hasn't had, you know, the start he wants. And, uh, well, that's all right. He's going to, he's, he's a great young player. He'll, he'll get through it. Thank you. And we'll wrap up here with Jeff Patterson. Travis, when you get in a little bit of a rut like you are right now on the penalty kill, uh, is your faith still there in the personnel? Is it structural? Like, what do you see from behind the bench as far as uh, the inability to kill right now? Well, we took seven tonight. Um, one was kind of a, I think it was a four on three or a five on three still through the seam at the end of a kill. Uh, they scored with 0 0.2 seconds. And the other one, um, you know, it was actually a pretty good play that we just missed on the kick out to the, to the point and, and Giordano scores on the slapper. Uh, I thought tonight was a step in the right direction for the killers, but you give that team seven and a score. And, and I thought, you know, you didn't really see the breakdowns as far as uh, plays that were part of the structure. It was kind of a, a, like I said, the rebound goal and the one that just slips through Biggs' legs where we're actually trying to pass a puck. <clears throat> and I think three of the penalties, uh, Gaudette, Patterson late in the second and Roussel in the third, all in the offensive zone. I mean, it's not like this happens every night, but is that just compounding the problems that guys are taking penalties that far from your own net? Yeah, it's never a recipe for uh, success. If you're going to take a penalty, uh, which there are penalties, you're hoping that it's in your own zone as you're trying to defend being hard on a player, maybe overly aggressive, but you never want to take penalties in, in the offensive zone. Uh, you know, it's a disappointing loss for our group. 
we wanted to respond tonight with a big game. I thought we got it the first period and, and played our best period of the year and then really kicked ourselves in the foot by taking the penalties and, and letting the game get away that way, which is uh, not the way you want to lose.